Hi there my scruffy friends, so um, I'm here with this layout that I've already started putting together. I decided at the last minute that I'd start um, start recording it. I am scrapping these two photos of when I met one of my friend's new babies, little Ethan. Um, as you can see I've already <laughs> stuck my main cluster together because it was easiest for me to do that. To do my background I've just used some watercolours from my stash and sprinkled some of the, what colour is this? Sing in the Blues um, colour shimmer spray across that minty colour background. I just pulled some colours to match as close as I could to the mint in these alpha stickers. So I've already pretty much got the layout side of what I want to do so I'm just going to start putting it together. Pop you on fast forward and I'll do a narration. Back and I am doing my narration. So it has been a little while since I made this layout and since I am doing the narration, so bear with me if I kind of go, What am I doing? Uh, so, first up, I have mounted my photo cluster onto some foam and the word baby. I'm putting a little bit more foam behind so that it's all on the same, um, on the same level. I'm not exactly sure what I said in the first little section so I'm sorry if I repeat anything. Um, I was really loving this mint colour when I made this page uh, so I pulled out this beautiful mint coloured thread that matched the background and it also matches the alpha stickers that I used for the title. Make a couple of little um, thread things, clusters, nests, I don't know, whatever you want to call them in a couple of places and I just tuck those under the title, under some clouds, just glue those down and I'm going to glue this whole part onto the page. Um, again, I'm not sure what I said in my previous voiceover, so this little guy I met for the first time, uh, there's a group of us that scrapple together and one of us got pregnant and she produced this beautiful, perfect little boy and he's absolutely gorgeous. And it was a couple of months or about four or six weeks before I could meet him. And so she surprised us and yeah, it was it was really nice. So I was super excited to finally meet him and give him cuddles. And a couple of the girls snapped a couple of um, pretty good photos actually. So I'm just scrapping that moment. It was so nice to finally meet this little guy. And I can't believe it, it's taken me almost a year to get around to making this page because he's almost one now. But that's okay, so my title is Hello Baby Ethan and I am just using my white heavy gesso to um, make sure that all my clusters are sticking down. So these clouds that I made before, I, just, I love these things, they're so cute and they're nice, they're soft but they're, they're not, they don't fade into the background. Yeah, I just love them. I love them. Um, so I'm just layering layering those up where I want them. Some of them have got thicker paste than others. I think at one point I lost one or two of my clouds um, and they got stuck to other things. <laughs> so... I think I disappear once or twice looking for them, but that's okay. So they come back. So I, I felt that those clouds around that top cluster were kind of sinking. I managed to find some white foam and layer that up behind those so that it's not quite as obvious that there's something behind them because I have used a texture paste on uh, vellum. I love how it went all crinkly. So I'm just sticking all those clouds down. Um, I'm trying not to use too much adhesive because I knew I wanted to go in with some um, with some sewing as well. I just absolutely love this collection. Uh, I've used it a couple of times since I made this layout for a couple of new well one was a baby boy card and one was a baby shower card 
um, but this collection is just absolutely gorgeous. Love, love, love. Wish I was having a baby now so that I could use this collection for their album. But no, I so don't wish I was having a baby now. Um, it's late and I've had a couple of pretty full-on weeks and I'm exhausted. So please excuse my random late-ish night ramblings. So adding some of those enamel dots, which I've got to say I have been hoarding, um, you know, because I don't have four million other sets of enamel dots, but they're just, they're just so cute. I love them. So I'm just sticking everything down, clearing my desk of some of the crap on it. The desk that I work on when I video is literally like, um, I think it's 90 centimetres wide by about 40 deep. Uh, so I'm bringing out my typewriter to do a little bit of journaling. I have absolutely no idea what I journaled. Something about meeting baby Ethan, no doubt. Let me see if I can find the page. I'm just using my quilter's knife. Thing. I have no idea where the page is, so I cannot read you the journaling. That's good. I wonder where I put it. Um, yeah, so, and I just tuck my journaling in under the, under the photo cluster there. And I use my Scotch tacky glue <laughs> to stick it down. I was given those glue dot sheet things, I think, I've had them in my stash for probably two or three years and never really realised what they were and then I did realise what they were and I thought I'd give them a go and they're not sticky. <laughs> so good old um, scotch adhesive. What am I doing now? Adding the date. If you're watching my video, Shana, there you go. That is how I now store my roll of stamps. Thank you ever so much for the idea. You can't see it, but I also have, there you go, a little Project Life card thing set with all of the phrases stamped on it. It's cool for most of my stamps. Um, love it. Thank you for the suggestion. I think I stamp in two places. Just stamping off on some scratch paper first to make sure I'm not really special. Have I done the stitching on the clouds yet? I'm not sure, but you can see it in the photos. So there you go. Thank you ever so much for stopping by. Um, I had fun putting this page together. I'm so pleased that it came together as well as it did. Um, if you don't already subscribe, please hit the subscribe button and like if you like my video. Um, thank you as always for stopping by and I shall see you in another video very soon. Bye!